Hello folks, hope everybody's good. Welcome to Bentley on Tour. This van behind me is Bentley, my Bessacar E540, which is 13 years old now. And I'm Martin, and we like to get out and about, see castles, coasts, countryside, and that's where we are today. I'm in the Mendips. I'm at a camping and caravanning club site, Cheddar Mendip Heights just outside the village of Priddy, which itself I think is the only village uh, in the Mendips. So we're going to go for a walk and find some barrows and some ponds maybe and just see what there is around here. So there's me, I'm on a hard standing pitch with electric. It's cost me £50, £52 for three nights, so £17 a night, which is not too bad. The campsite it looks busy from this view, but it's actually half empty. A lot of the pitches are unoccupied. A lot of people leaving this morning. It's Monday morning. It's not raining and it's chilly, but I'm going to get out and about and go and uh, see what's around. Just as I'm leaving the site, the sunshine has come out. So I thought I'd just give you a panoramic. It's very quiet here. A lot of the camping and caravanning club sites that I stay at do these little maps around and about uh, from yellow publications and for three or four pounds they just give you a, uh, an idea of what the local area is around uh, the club site. So this one has Cheddar which is not too far away. So there's, there's me and I'm going to Head this way, over this way. There's some uh, circular earthworks up there which you can't access, but then going to come down to some tumuli and down to pretty nine barrows and maybe get to the minories here, which is some old lead, lead works. And there's lots of uh, ponds, hills. So we're just going to explore. Yes, it seems to be very much a farming farming community up here. Lots of little farmhouses, cottages dotted around the place. There are a few campsites. There was a CL I passed of the Caravan and Motor Homing Club just on the way in. And uh, lots of paths. So it's useful to have a little map just to give you an idea of what there is around. And there's always something interesting to find. Nice little orchard. I'm not saying this is another camping site. There's a caravan that doesn't look as though it's been used for a while. I'm not sure if this is a riverbed I'm walking down or a path. It said it was a path. But at the end of March, it's a bit soggy. Thank you. So I've come down to the end of this little track and I've reached what is called Pretty Pool. I'm skirting around the village really at the moment. Yes, thank you, I said it. And then there's a pretty pool here. Just come about half a mile up the lane before I turn off and there's a nice opening here so I thought I'd give you an idea of the countryside.
So I've come across my first barrow. And probably difficult to see on here, the light's not that good, but this mound right in front is an old barrow. There was a stile just behind me and basically it was just a pond behind that. It's supposed to be a footpath. And I sort of had a look in the distance and I can't see the, uh, the circles. Uh, there is no public access anyway. So we're going to head up to these barrows in the distance. This is probably really difficult to see, but on the horizon I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bumps. And that's where we're going to try and get to next. That's Ashen Hill and Ashen Hill Barrows is what we're going to look at. Oh, so I've made it to the top of the hill. Interestingly, just before the barrows, there are lots of dips. I mean, they remind me of earthworks, whether there were earthworks here as well. On age times, they had earthworks to protect their little village. Or maybe they were barrows which had been raided. There's some stonework over here. Let's kind of look at this. I mean, there might well have been another burial chamber here. They often did put big stones at the entrance to them. Interesting. Again, there's not much definition in the light here, but I'm standing on the edge of the t top of the first one to the east. And I can see one, two, three, four, five, at least six in front of me there. Oh, if only I had a drone. No thanks. Just seen that. About a foot diameter, 10 inches diameter on the top of this barrow. That's metal detecting which of course is illegal on ancient monuments. Archaeologists working the mounds here at Ashen Hill and at Pretty Nine Barrows, just 300 metres away, have found grave goods, including a spear or arrowhead and amber and glass beads, along with cremated remains, giving an insight into what must have been quite a sophisticated people. Just when you want a pe bit of peace and quiet. It's like a police helicopter. This looks like the last one. Maybe this is a better view of the barrows I've just come from. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight just over there. So I'm now at North Hill at 307 metres above sea level and it is the second highest point in the Mendips. Don't know what the first one is, I'll find out. But this is pretty nine barrows. I thought you could get access to it, but there's a stone wall, there's a barbed wire fence on the inside, there's a barbed wire fence on the outside, so I'm not going to try and get in there. I haven't counted them, but it says they're nine. Well, they say, why well, take the easy route when you've got a difficult route? This path is a river. This is a good bit. And <laughs> I think I've got to go down here. This is a public path, believe it or not. So pay attention, Martin, to the path, not the camera. So I'll see you at the bottom.
This is very pleasant, lots of reeds. This place is called Fair Lady Well. So the map says, the woodland in the distance and surrounding area were important for lead mining from the Roman era right up until the last century. The wetlands created by the extraction are now an important home to wildlife and during the summer you may see dragonflies darting across the water above newts and toads. Over there, there's lots of earthworks which I think are all part of this lead, lead mining. So the lead mining is just to my left up a bit, I'm not going to do today. And there's lots of dumped earth. There's some ducks in here, hidden away somewhere. My path goes this way. Just found a little froggy. You all right, mate? Getting somewhere safe, are you? Ribbit. Ribbit. So I've just come down from up there. Was it North Hill? I'm just going to head along this path, on this little river, looks nice, through the trees, watch where you stand. I've just taken my directional mic out, just so you can hear. Yeah, nothing. That little stream goes through that pipe and <laughs> carries on the other side. Yeah, you can see this you can see this land now. This is definitely sort of slag heaps from the, the lead mining. Good for wildlife though. I've made it onto the main road. Well, when I say main road, I think it's a B road. And I can see a buzzard over there, which you're never going to pick up on the camera. There's a light airplane just flying away, but right in the middle, on the top of the hill, that was the Nine Barrows. So I was up there and then came all the way down this side. Ah, oh, sun has come out and it's gorgeous. This is the Queen Victoria Inn in Priddy. Just been in there for a nice French onion soup and a pint. And when you go inside you put the kids in these little huts and they've got locks on them. No, only joking. I presume that's from Covid. You could sit in there, lock yourself away. Anyway, nice little pub. So here we are in centre of Pretty, six and a quarter miles to Cheddar, six miles to Wells, Wookie Hole, three miles down the road. So I came in from there. Pub's just up the road there. Basically, just full of old cottages. and roosters doing their thing. If you want to stay here, there's a, there's a project. Freehold premises for sale. Public house with 11 ensuite bedrooms. Oh, that must be the pub they were telling me about. Shut, shut down about 11 years ago. Hardly heard any birds, and then the crows are going bananas.
It's an interesting looking thing. Nice thatched top. Interesting wooden walls. I wonder if you can get in it. No, no door here. We have a sign to tell us all about it. Uh, I understand it now. So these hurdles are a symbolic reconstruction of the original collection. They were stored here to form the pens for the sheep fair which moved from Wells to Priddy in, in 1348 at the outbreak of the Black Death. The fair is now held annually on the nearest Wednesday to the original date of the 21st of August. The hurdle stat was destroyed by fire on 28th of April 2013 Typical. And rebuilt by volunteers from the parish in July 2013. So these are all hurdles to keep the sheep in. And they were stacked up put under a, a nice roof. Cool. I like that. So that says Manor House on one side of the triangle. Lots of outbuildings, Manor Farm. And it's now for sale. Very nice if you've got a few million, I would have thought. So my route takes me up here. Another mile and a half or so. Cockerel's still going nuts. This is marking the first supply of fresh water, pure water it says, was brought here by James Green in 1865. Fortunately it's all dried up. Oh, made it back to the site. After about five miles, must be. I think I need to sit down and rest a cup of tea in a bit. How many vans are there on here? I'll just show you. So there's a little area over there where there are a couple of caravans. Caravan in front and a me behind them. One, two, three caravans at the bottom and two little camper vans just here. This is all the grass area, so when it dries out, I presume you can get grass pitches, or maybe tents as well. People still do tents. This area is walled off, well just a tiny wall. There's a dog walk down the bottom, which again is a bit muddy, I went down there yesterday when I arrived. That's the adjoining farm. I believe there's a farm shop over there, which I've not been to. And then countryside all around. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you wish. I'd love to see your comments. Press the like button. And I'll see you next time.